Boy, what a treat. I have a Moser Endeavor Center Seconds concept in front of the camera today. This is the reference 1200-0215. It is an 18 karat white gold uh, case with a funky blue Fume dial that will retail at $24,200 full retail price. The watch will measure in at 40 millimeters in diameter. And I just want to point your attention to these lovely uh, lugs with the sculpted indented case side and the high polish finish there. This is a re oh, this is a really well executed case, and it just shines in natural light. Forty seven point three millimeters is the lug to lug dimension with a ten point seven millimeter case height. That's to the top of the domed sapphire crystal, and I see no discernible anti reflective treatment. The lug width will be twenty millimeters. And you guys will notice a gray alligator strap with a white gold signed buckle. I think this looks really nice. The watch will have 30 meters of water resistance and will be limited to 100 pieces, which if you flip the watch over and take a look at the white gold case back, that's going to be engraved in the case back. Now notice how we have a very full exhibition window in which we can see the HMC Caliber 200. This is a in-house designed an executed movement that will beat at three hertz, carry 27 joules, and a 72-hour power reserve. Now notice the free-sprung balance, which also contains the Straumann hairspring. We have Moser striping, polished screws, micro perlage work, and we also have englage work on the plates. Notice the 18-karat rose gold or red gold skeletonized rotor with the signature in the rotor. This rotor will be bi-directional winding. We also have hacking seconds, and we have very pleasant winding action through the signed crown, the cupcake style crown at the three o'clock position. Now, let's talk about this dial. We'll go in on a macro level. I'd like to point out the defined sunburst texture, very defined in specific lighting scenarios. And you'll also notice a wide range of blue colors that depending on the angle and depending on the light will border on green to navy to black. So it's a very dynamic dial that is nicely executed, as nice of an execution as I've seen. We also have a slightly reflective finish, and you'll notice that as you see the polished beveled leaf handset, nice and long hand members sweep around this uh, funky blue Fume dial. So this is all about the execution. This is all about the color play. This is all about the presence. This is not about at a glance legibility. We have no applied markers. We have no indexing of any kind. We have no brand signature. We have no Swiss made signature, which if you think about it is a very gutsy move to bring a watch to the market that retails for over $20,000 will be crafted out of precious metal and to not put your signature or your logo or at least Swiss made or Swiss on the dial, I respect that. This is all about uniqueness. This is all about the execution. This is all about being time only. And this creates a style that is alluring and appealing to me. This is minimalism. This is form over function. And I also like the fact that there will be competing brands that will charge the same, charge over $20,000 for a similar watch with an in-house movement with similar specs and execution. And that will be done in stainless steel. This is 18 karat white gold, precious metal. And I like that. I like the fact that we have the large movement that fills the back of this watch up to a very pleasing degree. I think it's very sharp, good specs, good timekeeping. And I also love the fact that this brand is an up and coming high horology brand. I don't associate Moser with snobbishness or exclusivity. I think these are just lovely watches. They're all about the design, all about the execution. And I wonder where they will be in five or 10 years. We might have some snobbishness and exclusivity gamesmanship going on to try to get a hold of one because I think as this brand gets more exposure, the popularity will increase because they're making excellent watches. Now let's talk about the elements that I don't like so much and it really comes down to personal preference. You may disagree with me, but uh, I like having anti-reflective coatings on my sapphire crystals 
but that's just personal preference. I don't see any discernible ARC here, but then again, let's consider the watch. It's not about at-a-glance legibility, so it's not necessarily about reading the time without any distractions, without any reflections, with a higher degree of clarity. So you can take that comment or leave that comment depending on your preference. But other than that, I would not change a thing about this Endeavor Center Seconds concept. It is so beautiful. It is so well executed and it's so cool. Now, lastly, I would like to talk a little bit about my experience as an owner of a similar watch, a high horology piece. And that was the Vacheron Constantin 4500V. And uh, contrasting my time with that watch, thinking about the fit and the finish and going back and looking at my macro shots and everything, I'd like to compare the quality here. And in my experience, in my opinion, the quality is very, very close. Perhaps the Vacheron Constantin is just a touch tighter on a macro level when it comes to the movement, when it comes to the dial. But apart from that, very negligible differences. There is not a lot of difference between the two. Moser is doing things very well as a brand. So I'm going to give this top marks grade A here. And I think this watch is for someone looking for a respected piece, a great piece of high horology who just doesn't want to deal with any type of brand snobbery or name brand recognition or uh, any type of exaggerated availability challenges, I think this is the watch for you. If you're shopping for a Moser, I'm going to recommend exquisite timepieces in Naples, Florida. They have one of the most extensive inventories of Moser in the country. Excellent AD in Naples, Florida. So all contact information will be in the description. Thank you for watching today, guys. I'll see you in the next video.